Welcome back to our series on how to tie tie knots. Today, I'm going to show you how to tie the Victoria knot. The Victoria knot is to the foreign hand knot, what the Kelvin knot is to the Oriental. Or in more simple terms, the Victoria knot is a simple foreign hand just looped around once more. This tie knot is often favored by rakish men who really want to add a much bigger knot. Sometimes you'll also see um, both layers of the loops just to create a little more relaxed and casual look. Although similar to the Kelvin in the sense that it's looped around once more, um, it's bigger than the Kelvin simply because you have half a loop more in it. Today, I'm wearing a really thick jacket silk tie by Fort Belvedere, which even adds to the size of this knot. The more often you loop something around and the bigger your knot gets, the shorter your tie gets overall. If you use this same tie and you tie an oriental knot, you can wear it with a lower rise pair of pants, or if you make a bigger knot like the Victoria, you should wear it with a higher rise pants. So without further ado, here is how you tie the Victoria knot. Begin with the blade side up, seam side down. Slim end is on your right, wide end on your left. Um, slim end should be much shorter and about one and a half hands up from your waistband, but it depends on the trousers you're wearing. Now, wide end over the slim end, pinch through the left hand, loop around. Now, you have it in the front. Now we have to do it once again, loop it around once more. Okay, now the wide end goes through the hole up, pull it tight, and then down through the knot. I only push it through the top layer of the knot. If you want a dimple now, just pinch it slightly up here and pull it through gently. Once you're happy with the look, pull it up. Now adjust the collar. You don't want any wrinkles on either side. And when you pull sometimes, your knot shifts to one side. So always make sure to adjust it. And uh, you don't want any wrinkles on your collar, basically. Voila, the Victoria knot. Because of its size, this tie is not suited to classic colors. I would say I have at least a medium spread collar or better, um, a more widespread collar, like the one I'm wearing here right now. Um, I think this is ideal. If you want to wear a collar pin, a collar clip, or a collar bar, this is not the knot for you. It's simply too big. Instead, go with the oriental or the four in hand. I'll show you how to tie those here. Once you tie a tie with, with bigger knots like this, the tie gets automatically shorter. So if you're a shorter guy, you may want that. However, if you're a taller guy and the tie looks too short, it's not proportional anymore and it looks bad. So what you should do then is get a tie that is extra long to accommodate your height. Fort Belvedere offers ties in three lengths, short, regular, and long. So every man can wear the knot he likes and get the right length. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about how to dress, please sign up and these videos will come right to your inbox. And I look forward to seeing you again. Thanks.